coming up tomorrow. We will be live at the Blue Iguana. It is time for Locals Only Live. Ten bands, all local bands, bands that you've seen right here in the Montgomery area, and a lot of them you hear every Sunday night on the Fox Consumer Guide to New Rock as we do Locals Only every Sunday night starting at 7. And a lot of these names are familiar. Britt Johnson, Confederate Hipster, Chaz Shows, The Honey Tree Band, Common Ground, Rip Christie's Pain Haven, David DeRamis and Millage Gordon, Paradigm, and Modern Day Job, and the band we're about to talk to and you're going to hear from, they will be on at 4 o'clock right after Britt Johnson get things underway at 3. They are known as Mama Piranha. And joining me in the studio is uh, a couple of members. Introduce yourselves to the uh, the public there, Mama Piranha. Howdy there, folks. I'm Willie McDonald. And I am Jeff Jones. And you guys, you guys are a part of... Yes, we are, we are currently representing legal representation and actual physical representation of Mama Piranha today. Uh, we had a few other band members that couldn't make it, but, you know, we're going we're gonna to try to do us justice. Try, any, try to represent. Any likeness is coincidental. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now, now Willie, I want to I wanna, uh, take you back to a conversation we had many moons ago when we first hooked up about Mama Piranha. There's an interesting story behind how Mama Piranha came about. Tell us about that. Well, without a doubt. Uh, it all started with, uh, I've always been a songwriter and I've always been, you know, a solo acoustic act. In fact, you were at one of my shows at Ruddles where I think my yeah. dad won a t-shirt, an Alabama t-shirt. It's probably me. one of our uh, our uh, tailgate parties we were doing. Yes, I believe yeah. so. So yeah. thank you for my dad's t-shirt. If, <laughs> if I, if hey, my I, pleasure. If I ain't making that up. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Uh, <laughs> definitely. But uh, I used to play a bunch of acoustic shows and, uh, I used to write my own music all the time, and I'd been doing it for, you know, seven... You still eight, do. Yeah, I still do. Seven or eight years. Yes, Jeff, thank you. Uh, <laughs> but my wife is a wonderful woman, Jessica McDonald. I, I love her with all of my heart, and she uh, she apparently, I guess, feels the same way about me, uh, <laughs> at least on the inside. So uh, she, uh, she one day took one of my songs, you know, that she really liked, where I was playing all the instruments on it. It was one I recorded, really rough recording of it, like an alternative rock song yeah, more yeah. than anything. And she was looking online because that's what she likes to do, you know, like anybody, is get on the computer. So uh, she found this reality TV show competition called War of Rock. And on War of Rock, they were looking for different bands in different regions mm -hmm. of the nation. And the first region they were going to do was the southeast and they had had all these bands submit i think it was around 50 is what i what i heard but my wife without me knowing keep that in mind i had no okay. idea any of this was going on she though the qualifications on the website clearly say your band must have three to six people in them to qualify you know for you to even send anything in right so she made up a band name, just figured she'd do it, why not, you know, she didn't think, you know, she believed in it, but, you know, she didn't think, you know, that, that it actually happened. Yeah. So, um, she made up this fake band name, and I had this look, we had this little baby, she was a baby then, but this tiny little toy chihuahua, not too yappy, you know, one of those good chihuahuas. She, uh, <laughs> but, but when the chihuahua's baby teeth were supposed to be falling out and the permanent teeth were coming in she her baby teeth never fell out at first so she had two rows of teeth like a shark or like a piranha so my ah. my wife decided to to name this band this fake band of mine that I had no idea about uh, mama piranha so she submitted it and never told me just I guess it slipped her mind I don't know so <laughs> She, uh, one day I'm driving her back to, we lived in Tuscaloosa at the time, so one day I'm driving her back from her parents' house in, uh, to Tuscaloosa, and I think I was around Clanton when I got a phone call, and I didn't recognize the number, but I answered it, and uh, there was this guy on the other end, and he sounded like this. He said, well, uh, hey there, uh, th there's this uh, Willie McDonald, the lead singer of Mama Piranha, and my wife could hear the guy talking on the other end so I didn't I, I was about to say no no because I've never heard of yeah, Mama Piranha I am Willie McDonald but I've never heard of Mama Piranha <laughs> and uh, she's sitting there whispering and nodding her head say yes say yes say yes so I say I say uh, I think so 
And he says, well, what do you mean you think so? Are you the lead singer or are you not? And I say, uh, yes, I am the lead singer of Mama Pur Piranha. <laughs> And it, you couldn't even say the name of the yeah, band yourself. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I didn't, I, I, didn't, I couldn't understand him. And uh, he said, "Well, this is a, this is a producer uh, down in, uh, I'm in Dallas, Texas right now doing something. But uh, I'm with Loud Media Corporation, and we're uh, doing this thing with this uh, new reality TV show which you entered in uh, called War of Rock, and had all these bands that entered." Uh, where you're one of the bands that were picked, one of the nine bands. So come on out, you know, to Birmingham. And I said, well, when is this? And and, I, and he said, well, today's Sunday, right? And I said, yeah. <laughs> he said, he said, well, uh, it is this coming Saturday. Be there at the Iron Horse in Birmingham. And I said, well, what's the, who, you know, what do you get if you win? He said, oh, well, if you get the win, you get to open for uh, slaughter, you know. Uh, 80s and hey. early 90s hair metal band. Fly uh, to the Angels. That's, what, to I'm, the angels. that's what I'm up talking all about. Night. Up all night. Yeah. Up all night. You know. So I said, I said, uh, okay, uh, yeah, we'll be there, sure. And I hung up the phone with him, and I looked over at my wife and to her lovely eyes, and I said, what have you gotten me into? <laughs> what have you done? She was shocked. I mean.